Yo, how you guys doing? You doing all right? You doing all right? Seriously, you doing okay? We cool? Cool. All right. So today we're gonna just do some stuff. We're gonna get some stuff done. That's right. Another episode is coming your way, and it's coming in the way that you won't expect. Oh, did I say coming? I meant to say arriving. Coming is is obviously a hentai reference, but yeah, that just made things a hell of a lot awkward. Anyway, another episode of the God Life, or Living the God Life. Mm. Another episode of Living the God Life is coming at you right now, so don't blink! Ah! Ah! Oh, we're not even moving! So, we're going to spend the day trying to figure out how to cook some whole kernel corn. Are you ready to learn how to cook in the microwave? Say, that's not bad. Yeah. I just don't know. But let's just get to it. We're just going to pretend that this hasn't been opened and emptied yet. So what we got here, great value corn at its best. And they don't call it great value for nothing. So, we're just going to pretend that this was never opened or empty to start with or drained for that. Alright? So, here's what you do it's really simple. It's really simple. All you got to do, basically, is take this thing, clamp it together with this. And just twist it like so until the whole damn thing comes apart, or most of it anyway. And then what you could do, and, and I did this earlier today for, for, uh, for, what was it, supper? Yeah, supper. But I did this earlier today for supper. Needless to say, all you gotta do is pretty simple. Watch this. You gotta take this, gotta cover it, make sure all the juice gets out of the corn because you don't want that extra sugar. Because the juice alone is about maybe five to six grams of sugar, you know? And they say that there's actually no, I take that back. It's more like uh, more like four grams of sugar. You'll be cutting out half of your sugar intake in this cup, in this can, by simply pouring this out. Let's just pretend that the corn juice is dripping, right? But you do this until finally you're able to get all the juice out. You open this thing up, put this in here, like so. Let's just pretend that there's corn falling out of there. As you know, I already did this today. If I hadn't have done that yet, I would have showed you, but, you know. Yep. That's just the way it is now, isn't it? Isn't that the way it is? Is it not what it is? Is it not exactly what it is? Isn't it what it is? I mean, I don't know. You tell me. Now, let's just pretend that this whole freaking cup is full whole kernel sweet corn without any salt. Just, just the, that's what the darn thing says. No salt added. Yeah. It's, it's so simple, isn't it? Is it simple enough for you? Right. So, th this is where the magic happens. We're gonna get the magic. Let's make it happen. Yeah. Right, so... All jokes aside, we're gonna pretend straight up, honest to God, that I never cooked this in the microwave. But basically, what you do is put it in the microwave, put it in there like so. Okay, let's just pretend I put the darn thing in there. You set it for one minute. So 
basically 10 taps times 6, right? You tap this about 60 times in a secondly fashion. You open that thing up, and boom, there goes your corn, right? That goes your corn! And then, of course, you'd have to take a test taste to this freaking thing. You have to get a taste test. And, and let's just say this is this is the bowl that I cooked the corn in, minus the broccoli, so you can see it right here. Like, bro, right, can you see it? Can you see it? It's my dad, my dad! That's basically it, isn't it? So basically, you taste test it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's so simple. It's, it's, it, how simple does it have to be? How simple? And I know that I, that I cooked that corn in the microwave about four hours ago, but I mean, that one, that's all good. Nobody ain't gonna give it about it anyway, right? Nobody ain't gonna give it, in no way. But let me just say right now, tell you and I'm gonna tell you straight up I'm not gonna sugarcoat it if you want to live the God life and and this is just God speaking to me as I'm telling you this but if you want to live the God life you gotta learn stuff like this you gotta learn how to microwave corn and broccoli and green beans and whatever. I mean, you get what I'm saying? So simple. I guess the same thing would apply to canned beef, canned chicken, cream of chicken, and so on and so on and so on and so forth. But of course, that would really uptick the sodium quite a bit. I mean, so it's so shocking, isn't it? And and here's here's what gets me. This is what really, really gets you. This is what gets you. I mean, you're not going to believe it, but it would be nice if you did. But check this. Check this. This is a can of corn. 10 milligrams of sodium per serving, three and a half servings. So by that point, 35 total grams, milligrams of sodium, which is barely one and a half percent, if even that, of your daily sodium intake. Meanwhile, it's got 7% potassium and 35% of your daily fiber, or actually, it should say that it has 42% because it clearly says that there's three grams of dietary fiber in here. And meanwhile, you got something like this. A regular can of Prima Mushroom. They say it's fat free, but I don't necessarily believe it. I mean, it says it's 98% fat free, but I just don't believe it. Guess how much sodium one serving of this has? 31%! Are you freaking kidding me? This has got to be a joke! But, yeah. 31% of your daily sodium intake in just one serving. And times two and a half? That equates to about 77.5% of your daily sodium intake. Meanwhile, it only has one gram of dietary fiber per serving, which only equates to about 10% of your daily fiber intake when you ingest the whole darn can. All kidding aside though, I really couldn't care less. So let's just get to it. Let's just say right now, 
that I prefer corn any day of the week over camels. Because camels started promoting the LGBTQ and B community for whatever reason because they wanted to feature a lesbian couple. And that was last year. You know what I decided after I saw that commercial? You're not going to believe it. You know what I decided in that commercial after watching it? That's it for me. No more Campbell's. It's too crap. It's too sh It doesn't work! Campbell's doesn't work! But anyway, I'm just going to leave it at that. So until next time, in order to live the good life, you got to allow yourself to live the God life.